golden sands, warm crystal clear water, palm trees, maybe a cocktail with a little umbrella in it. Welcome to paradise. We may dream of traveling to our little piece of heaven on earth, but there's a dark side to paradise. Living in the world's most idyllic places is no holiday for many animals. This is fiercely contested real estate and the hunting grounds of some truly terrifying and deadly predators. The world's most exotic destinations just happen to be home to killers in paradise. One of the world's natural wonders, stretching almost 2,000 kilometers along the east coast of Australia. It's a place of beauty that entices tourists to explore its wonders. But other species travel here with more sinister motives, and some visitors never leave at all. Imagine traveling to a remote tropical beach and having it all to yourself. Somewhere among these beaches is one for you, where you can feel you're the only man or woman on Earth. Once a year, green sea turtles live this dream. The turtles swim for hundreds of kilometers to get to this tiny isolated speck on the Great Barrier Reef to lay their eggs. After a long night of digging and laying, this mama turtle heads back to the ocean to rest. Her eggs are safe for now, but she is not. There is another creature in these tropical waters that can turn any animal into an endangered species. The tiger shark. This magnificent predator is the top of the Great Barrier Reef food chain. They have the widest diet of any shark and will eat almost anything. But today, they're here for one specific delicacy. The green turtle's tropical retreat is about to be ruined. This female tiger shark has excellent vision, an amazing sense of smell, and the ability to detect minute electric fields. All the turtle can do is hide motionless among the coral, using her shell as camouflage. They can stay underwater for up to two hours, but eventually she must come up for air. And the patient and cunning tiger shark is waiting. Four meters and 600 kilograms of finely tuned predatory menace. Green sea turtles have a fatal weakness. Thick shells may protect their internal organs, but they can't retract their heads or flippers. The shark bites off the turtle's flippers. There is no chance of escape. Then her powerful jaws and serrated teeth pierce and crush the turtle's shell. The shark spins in a death roll, which tears its helpless prey apart. This mother turtle will never return from her visit to tropical paradise. But her death is not in vain. Two months later, her precious eggs hatch, and a horde of baby green turtles struggle their way to the water.
The surviving females will eventually make their own journey back to the isolated island to reproduce. And the tiger sharks will be waiting. The watery Eden of the Barrier Reef is also home to venomous serpents that have given up living on land and become deadly aquatic predators, sea snakes. They cruise the reef using their paddle-like tail. Sea snakes are visual hunters, but can also smell their prey underwater using their tongue. This small fish has nowhere to hide. It's cornered itself in a crevice in the coral. Talk about a dead end. Sea snakes have retained the venom glands and wicked fangs of their landlubber ancestors. With one bite, the venom paralyzes the helpless fish, and the snake begins to swallow it whole. But sea snakes have one weakness in their armory. Despite living underwater, they're still air breathers and must surface to top off their oxygen supply. A white-bellied sea eagle is on patrol. And a tired sea snake coming up for air is a perfect victim. the eagle launches a devastating dive. With pinpoint accuracy, it snatches the snake from the water. But the deadly sea serpent is not going down without a fight. One bite could kill. The eagle juggles the sea snake as it lashes out in final defiance. She carries it back to her nest and pecks off its head in order to share it with her chick. Australia's Great Barrier Reef dazzles with its natural beauty. It's home to a vast array of life and bright colors of every hue. But in this idyllic natural battlefield, color can mean big trouble. One of the most beautiful and striking looking creatures on the reef is also one of the most venomous creatures on Earth. The blue ringed octopus. The blue rings only appear when the animal is frightened or threatened. When it's hunting, it goes into stealth mode, blending into the reef. Today, crab is on the menu, but this is no easy meal. The octopus must quickly subdue the feisty crab before its powerful claws damage its soft, boneless body. To do this, it harnesses the power of chemistry. Bacteria living in the octopus's salivary glands produce a lethal toxin that the eight-armed predator uses to full advantage. It bites off one of the crab's eye stalks and injects venom into the wound. The potent toxins almost instantly kill the crab, and the octopus begins to feast on its soft insides. While humans drink exotic beverages by the pool, blue-ringed octopuses mix their own tropical cocktails. And the hangover is a killer. Things might be dangerous on the Barrier Reef, but Australia is also home to some truly terrifying land animals. Giant reptiles that run as fast as Olympic sprinters and tear their prey to pieces with the strongest jaws on Earth. 
Australia, a wild land down under. That's paradise for unique creatures found nowhere else on Earth. The northeast of the country is lush and tropical, with golden beaches and dense rainforests. And danger lurks everywhere. People travel to northern Australia to explore its natural beauty. For the residents of the forest, these waterways provide life. But not every visitor to the river gets out alive. These murky waters are home to a true monster, the largest living reptile on Earth, the saltwater crocodile. Up to seven meters long and weighing over a ton, covered in thick scales and armed with a snout full of wicked teeth. Their bite is the strongest of any living animal on Earth. Anything it can't swallow whole is clamped in these terrifyingly strong jaws. And with powerful shakes of its head, ripped into pieces. But these massive predators can be surprisingly stealthy and cunning considering the largest are longer than the average car. The huge beasts are like lethal submarines, nearly invisible in murky water, with just their eyes above the surface. They mostly feed on small prey, but anything that comes near the water is on this river monster's menu. This goose was snatched off the riverbank before it knew what hit it. The crocodile's teeth are not razor sharp like a shark's. They pierce and grip the goose's body so the powerful jaws can crush it. Crocodiles can't swallow when they're submerged. Otherwise, their throat and lungs would fill with water. So it stays above the surface and swallows the five kilogram goose whole. But it's not just careless animals that come down to the river's edge that risk becoming lunch for a hungry salty. You wouldn't think this fruit bat is in any danger resting high in a tree, but underestimate salties at your peril. They're not just lumbering brutes. All that power makes them surprisingly athletic. Using their massive tails to generate speed, salties can lift their bodies out of the water and snatch animals from the trees. A fully grown saltwater crocodile is the undisputed king of this piece of paradise. The saltwater crocodile is not the only giant reptile to prowl Australia. In the vast interior, there is no jungle and almost no water. This is the outback, a savage realm where only the toughest predators can survive, including a speed demon giant lizard, the Parenti. This monster monitor can grow two and a half meters long but it's lean and athletic. Parentes will happily scavenge on a putrid carcass. But easy meals like this rotting kangaroo are a bonus. Most of the time, the Parenti must hunt down live prey. Luckily, it's built to kill. The Parenti tracks its prey using its long tongue, which picks up chemical signals in the air. They also have excellent eyesight, 
but its real weapon is sheer speed. Parentes have a turbocharged breathing system, which pumps air into their lungs when they need to really move. Reaching speeds up to 40 kilometers per hour, the Parenti is faster than most Olympic sprinters. This means they can run down even the fastest prey, like rabbits. This is no lounge lizard. It's the Ferrari of the reptile world. Australia isn't the only tropical paradise full of lethal animals. In the Amazon rainforest live sneaky vampires, nightmarish multi-legged monsters, and flying killers that bring death from above. Brazil is famous for being a tropical playground, and millions of tourists flock to beach resorts like Rio de Janeiro. In all the world, no other great city has such a string of ocean beaches. But travel away from the holiday resorts and into the vast Amazon rainforest, and things get deadly real fast. The Amazon teems with life. Towering trees provide food and safety from ground predators so many forest animals almost never go down to the ground. But that doesn't mean they are safe. These forests are home to a fearsome predator that's the definition of death from above, the harpy eagle. The eagle's powerful claws are 10 centimeters long the same size as a grizzly bear's. This slow-moving sloth is a prime target. It steers at high speed through the jungle like a jet fighter. Harpies have been clocked at 80 kilometers per hour. With one devastating strike, the harpy eagle maims its victim and carries it off to be shared with her single chick. With mom's devotion and plenty of red meat, it will soon grow to become a fully fledged apex predator and the most devastating flying hunter in the Amazon. After a hard day enjoying the tropics, what could be better than a refreshing drink? It's thirsty work living in tropical paradise. And one of Brazil's wild residents is legendary for its bizarre drinking habits. A creature whose very name sends a shiver down the spine. The vampire bat the only mammal on Earth to feed entirely on blood. It doesn't land directly on its victim, but touches down nearby and silently creeps towards it. The tiny vampire uses heat sensors on its nose to zero in on where warm blood is close to the skin's surface. Unlike Hollywood vampires, the bats don't suck up blood through hollow fangs. They use razor-sharp canine teeth to slice open the skin, then lap up the flowing blood with their tongues. A powerful anticoagulant keeps it flowing until the vampire is full. A 50-gram bat can double their weight in one bloody meal. Vampire bats are the only bat on Earth that can take off directly from the ground. Back in its lair, a surprising sight of these nightmarish animals is revealed. They share their bloody meals with family members and even bats that aren't related to them. 
the vampire bat brings new meaning to the phrase, sharing a drink with a friend. The bats in this South American cave hang from the ceiling, seemingly safe from harm. Wrong. A ruthless predator is sizing them up and moving in for the kill. An Amazonian giant centipede scales the cave wall with ease. Its dozens of legs and powerful body allow it to cling upside down on the cave roof. It's 30 centimeters long, the length of a man's forearm, and armed with venomous black-tipped claws. The centipede clings on with its rear legs and hangs into the busy flight path. Within seconds, a bat flies into its deadly embrace. The giant centipede's claws inject a lethal dose of venom. The bat dies almost instantly, and its flesh begins to liquefy. The centipede will spend the next hour sucking it dry. Giant centipedes are voracious carnivores. Juicy cockroaches are a favorite snack. But the centipede will stalk much larger prey. Their venom kills or paralyzes in seconds. The centipede takes its time eating slowly cutting its meal into pieces and devouring every scrap of flesh. Even small mammals like mice are fair game. But the tables are about to be turned. This fearless little rodent engages the multi-legged monster in a battle to the death. The centipede is armed with lethal venomous claws. The mouse has only its bravery and agility to keep it in the fight. One mistake will be fatal. The matador mouse eventually wears down the centipede and pounces with a killer strike of its own. It chews off the centipede's head, and the epic battle is over. One small animal of the jungle floor is safe from giant centipedes, because it's even more poisonous than they are. Poison dart frogs are some of the most vividly colored animals found anywhere on Earth. Not for fashion reasons, but as a warning not to mess with them. There are over 100 different kinds, all of them far more dangerous than they look. The golden poison dart frog is considered the most poisonous vertebrate on Earth, more toxic than any snake, fish, or mammal. The frogs don't make their own poisons. It's thought they acquire them by eating toxic insects like ants. The frog then secretes the deadly chemicals all over its skin and uses its bright colors to warn predators they are a deadly mouthful. The spider soon realizes it shouldn't even bother with this victim. Poison dart frogs get their name because humans have learned to use them as a weapon themselves. The frogs are carefully caught, and then wooden darts are rubbed on their skin and covered in their toxic secretions. These lethal weapons are used to kill large animals, making this beautiful but deadly amphibian a jungle hunter's best friend. The idyllic islands of the Pacific are many people's idea of paradise. But just below the surface lurk beautiful shells that can kill. 
and ravenous and clever sharks that take predatory Hawaiian vacations. The mighty Pacific Ocean, the largest body of water on our planet. So big, it covers almost a third of the Earth. 25,000 small islands dot its vast surface, including the exotic island chain known as Hawaii. But humans are not the only species to be drawn to these Pacific islands. Tiger sharks are great travelers too. Some hunt green sea turtles off the Great Barrier Reef of Australia. Others travel hundreds of kilometers for another seasonal delicacy. Every summer, a select group of these lethal predators cruise the Hawaiian Islands. But the tiger sharks don't travel to paradise to rest and relax. They've come to hunt. Midway Island is an isolated rock at the western end of the Hawaiian Island chain. It's also one of the largest albatross breeding colonies in the world. Young albatrosses grow fast. After six months, they're as big as the adults and much fatter. From this point on, they must fend for themselves. And that means learning to fly. The bravest, or most foolish, eventually try a test flight over the ocean. This is just what a calculating hunter is waiting for. Tiger sharks have traveled hundreds of kilometers for just this moment. The young seabird's wings get tired quickly. And as soon as it touches down, its fluffy feathers get soggy and heavy. It manages to escape the tiger shark's razor sharp teeth. But not for long. hungry shark rips it apart. But like potato chips, one of these tasty snacks is never enough. Only some tiger sharks have figured out there will be easy meals dropping from the sky every year at this time. Between them, they can eat 10% of the albatross chicks hatched on the Hawaiian breeding islands. The banquet only lasts a few weeks. After that, the surviving albatross leave the island where they were born. And the tiger shark's Hawaiian vacation is over. We all know sharks can be dangerous, and they look it. But in this underwater Pacific paradise, some creatures that appear harmless can be lethal. Cone snails live inside some of the most beautiful shells in the world's oceans. They're built for looks, not speed. But this doesn't stop them from hunting fish. How can this slowpoke shellfish possibly catch prey? that can literally swim circles around it. Easy, with a secret weapon. A natural harpoon gun that's powered by water pressure and loaded with a barbed dart. When it senses a victim within range, 
the cone snail slowly moves its weapon into position. And fires. By the time the fish even notices it's been stabbed, the predatory snail has pumped it full of deadly toxins. It extends its monstrous mouth and swallows the fish whole. The most deadly cone snails produce enough venom to kill 15 people. So if you're wandering on a tropical Pacific beach, be careful when you pick up a beautiful shell. And whatever you do, don't hold it up to your ear. The tropical waters of Indonesia are teeming with lethal and bizarre creatures. Camouflaged killers lure victims to their death. Alien hunters hypnotize their prey. And others are armed with the most powerful natural weapons on Earth. Indonesia, an island archipelago made up of over 17,000 little pieces of paradise. The shallow tropical seas that bathe the islands sustain an incredible variety of life. Scientists have found more species of fish living on these reefs than anywhere else on Earth. With all this marine life, there's only one thing to do when you're on your tropical holiday. Go fishing. Since the beginning of time, fishing has been a pleasant way to earn one's daily food. But this watery wonderland is home to a natural fisherman who makes any human angler look like an amateur. Large predators like sharks cruise the reef, forcing smaller fishes to hide or camouflage themselves so they can't be seen. But most fish aren't scared of a piece of sponge. They don't even notice that it's slowly creeping towards them or that it has eyes. Too late, little fishy. You've just become another victim of the dreaded hairy frogfish. Hairy frogfish are concentrated lumps of ugly. Instead of swimming, they usually walk along the bottom on their stubby fins. When it's in hunting mode, the frogfish gives an Oscar-worthy performance and acts like a piece of seafloor debris. As well as a perfect disguise and a generally bad attitude towards other life forms, this killer in paradise has another trick to play. One of the spines on its back has evolved into a bizarre appendage. It looks like a worm, and the hairy frogfish uses its natural fishing rod and bait to fish for innocent victims. It wiggles its lure temptingly, drawing an unsuspecting fish closer and closer. Until it's within striking distance. When it comes to fishing in these tropical waters, the hairy frogfish is a natural champion. While the frogfish tries its best to be inconspicuous, another hunter on Indonesia's reefs seems to be doing everything it can to draw attention to itself. The cuttlefish. An alien creature with eight arms growing directly from its head a large brain shaped like a donut, and three hearts that pump bright blue blood. This boneless, highly intelligent blob propels itself through the tropical oceans using jets of water and steering fins. Like their squid and octopus relatives, 
Cuttlefish have the ability to instantly change color by altering the pigments in their skin. They're often called the chameleons of the sea. In a fraction of a second, they can disappear into the background or become a pulsating ball of flashing colors that almost seem to hypnotize their prey and enemies. One member of the tribe goes to great lengths to be as flashy as possible. The flamboyant cuttlefish is well named. Its skin seems to be in perpetual motion, constantly flashing vibrant patterns. This small but feisty beast prefers to walk along the bottom of the seabed rather than swim. If threatened, it doesn't flee or hide. It stands its ground and unleashes a dazzling show of color. This may act as a warning to predators that it's poisonous if swallowed. It has sharp eyes and prowls the sandy seabed hunting for small prey like shrimp. And it carries a concealed weapon. Hidden among the eight stubby arms surrounding its mouth is a pair of hunting tentacles. When prey is in range, the tentacles are slowly aimed, then fired at blinding speed. The shrimp is captured and fed to the cuttlefish's parrot-like beak. And then it goes looking for more. The flamboyant cuttlefish is one of the deadliest little hunters on the reefs of Indonesia. And we do mean little. But there's another animal living here that packs an even more devastating natural weapon system. The peacock mantis shrimp. Despite looking like it was designed by a mad scientist, this is the ultimate underwater demolition machine. Before venturing out to find lunch, the mantis shrimp scans for danger using its incredible eyes the most complex and unique eyes of any animal on Earth. Humans have three kinds of receptor that detect color. Mantis shrimps have 12. There is nothing else on our planet that sees the world like this animal. With no threats detected, the peacock mantis shrimp goes looking for trouble. It specializes in breaking and entering thanks to a pair of natural wrecking balls on the end of its front arms. One punch is enough to instantly cripple a shrimp. This hermit crab will take a bit more work. These soft-bodied crabs live in empty seashells where they are safe from most predators. But the peacock mantis shrimp is not most predators. Its strike is one of the fastest animal movements ever recorded. It takes just three milliseconds, a fraction of the time it takes us to blink. The mantis shrimp's club accelerates so fast that it boils the water in front of it a phenomenon called cavitation. This causes a flash of light and an implosion which further destroys its prey. The mantis shrimp feasts upon the naked hermit. Soon, only an empty shell remains from its crab dinner. The peacock mantis shrimp may only be a few centimeters long, but it has the fastest and most powerful strike of any animal on Earth. It's the ultimate killer in this underwater paradise. The dense jungles of Indonesia's islands hide hungry predators. Secretive big cats stalk the jungle floor and ninja-like insects blend into their surroundings and kill anything that moves. The 
Asian nation of Indonesia, made up of over 17,000 tropical islands. Full of exotic food and vibrant culture, Indonesia is a mecca for travelers who want a taste of tropical paradise. But beyond the beaches and bustling cities, the animals in Indonesia's wild jungles must battle to survive. The island of Java is home to one of Indonesia's most secretive and cunning killers, a predator that has mastered the dark arts of stealth and camouflage, the Javan leopard. It fears nothing. There are no lions or tigers on this island, so the leopard is the king of the Javan jungle, and a succulent piglet is too tempting to resist. The leopard silently stalks the young pig, sneaking closer and closer. Its unique spotted coat breaks up the cat's outline, allowing it to approach undetected. When it's close enough, the leopard launches its attack. The piglet doesn't stand a chance. The Javan leopard is the largest predator in the depths of this rainforest. But there are others just as devastating and much harder to spot. In this tropical climate, flowers bloom everywhere. Gardens of native orchids higher than your head. For humans, these tropical flowers are harmless and beautiful. But for the smaller creatures of the jungle, they can hide brilliantly disguised killers. This butterfly is visiting an orchid for its usual meal of nectar. It has no idea it is actually going to become food itself. A perfectly camouflaged hunter lurks almost invisible among the flowers. The orchid mantis. The hunter doesn't bother killing its prey. Once it's trapped in its deadly embrace, the praying mantis begins to eat it while it's still alive. The mantis's front limbs are murderous natural weapons, able to strike almost faster than the eye can see and skewer victims on rows of sharp spines. There are hundreds of kinds of praying mantis. And there is no love lost between different species. When they meet each other, it becomes a kung fu battle to the death. The mantis with the fastest strike is the victor. It impales its rival and then quickly begins to eat its head to finish the showdown. Baby mantises must quickly learn to defend themselves from other jungle predators. This frog thinks it has found an easy snack. But the hungry amphibian has forgotten the first rule of jungle survival. Always watch your back. This adult mantis is 15 centimeters long and fancies a tasty meal of frog legs. It has binocular vision like us. Its enormous eyes lock onto the target, and it strikes with deadly accuracy. Praying mantises will tackle almost any small animal they find, including snakes, lizards, birds, and even mammals. After it's eaten, the mantis carefully cleans its natural weapons to keep them in prime condition like a chef cleaning his knives. The orchid mantis of Indonesia and its deadly relatives may be small, but they are the ultimate killers in paradise. At least, they are during the day. When the sun sets, the mantises find themselves on the menu of another agile and ruthless predator. 
These mysterious nocturnal creatures look like cute fluffy toys, but looks can deceive. Tarsiers may look goofy, but they're fast, agile carnivores. And insects are their main prey. Their enormous eyes, each the same size and weight as their brain, give tarsiers excellent night vision. Their ears are like rotating radar dishes, and their heads can turn around almost 360 degrees to pinpoint sounds from any direction. These super senses make tarsiers the perfect nighttime stealth hunters. Their hands have sticky pads on them, which help keep a grip on wriggling insects. The tarsier's hind legs are much longer than the front ones. In fact, these cute little killers are built more like a frog than a mammal. Next on the menu, a praying mantis. But the feisty mantis has other ideas and unleashes a flurry of kung fu punches. The tarsier has bitten off more than it can chew and retreats to find easier prey. It soon finds another mantis. This species relies on camouflage to look like a dead leaf and tries to sneak quietly across the forest floor. But nothing gets past the giant eyes and ears of a tarsier. One deadly hop and it's all over. They may look like bug-eyed gremlins, but tarsiers are pound for pound one of the jungle's most ruthless and effective hunters. The world's most beautiful tropical paradises draw human visitors by the millions. But living in these jungles, beaches and coral reefs is no holiday for the creatures that call these places home. Competition is fierce for this prime real estate, and animals battle each other with stealth, teeth and venom. While we humans lie on the beach enjoying our vacation, animals in the wild fight for their lives against some of the deadliest predators on Earth. 